In a conference call with former members of his administration, former U.S. President Barack Obama described President Donald Trump's handling of the coronavirus pandemic as, quote, chaotic, according to a source. Obama, who is largely kept out of the fray, even as Trump has blamed his administration for many problems relating to the pandemic, urged in a call on Friday to 3,000 members of the Obama Alumni Association to get behind Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden. According to a source, Obama said November's election is very important because, quote, what we're fighting against is these long-term trends in which being selfish, being tribal, being divided, and seeing others as an enemy, that has become a stronger impulse in American life. And that, Obama continued, is one reason why, quote, the response to this global crisis has been so anemic and spotty. It would have been bad even with the best of governments. It has been an absolute chaotic disaster when that mindset of what's in it for me and to heck with everybody else, when that mindset is operationalized in our government. Obama said he would be campaigning as hard as he can for his former vice president. Obama's office declined to comment on what was said on the call. Get things done. Nobody gets it done like we do. The White House has repeatedly defended Trump's handling of the pandemic that has killed more than 75,000 Americans. It was decided upon by the president of the United States to stop the United States economy because we had to save 2.2 million lives, perhaps more, uh, somewhere in that range, because American lives, that's what mattered most. And so this president, when faced with this very tough decision to put a pause on the hottest economy in modern history, said American lives matter most. And that's what he did. But concerns are being raised about a potential spread of the coronavirus within the White House's innermost circle after Katie Miller, the vice president's press secretary and the wife of one of Trump's senior advisors, Stephen Miller, tested positive for the virus. And Trump's personal valet also tested positive for the virus this week. Late Friday, the FDA said its commissioner, Stephen Hahn, who tested negative, is in self-quarantine for a couple of weeks after coming into contact with someone who tested positive.